Hi there, and welcome to Storytime with Kay. Today we will read Little Einstein's June's New Shoes by Marcy Kelman and illustrated by Aram Song. This book was published by Disney Press in 2012. It was a lovely spring morning while Annie, Leo, and Quincy waited for their friend June to arrive. They each did their favorite things. Annie sang, Leo conducted, and Quincy played the violin. When June arrived, Annie noticed something different about her. Wow, June, exclaimed Annie, are you wearing new ballet shoes? Yes, I just got them this morning, June said. Aren't they beautiful? My old shoes were so comfortable, but I wore holes right through them. Wearing new shoes feels strange, but I'm sure I'll get used to them. These new shoes make me feel like dancing. Let's all do a twirl together. One, two, ouch! Oh dear! Every time I try to leap or twirl, I fall. Poor June. Let's cheer her up. Hummingbirds always make June happy. Let's take a walk down Hummingbird Lane. First, we have to find the sign with the hummingbird on it. Is it the first sign, the second sign, or the third sign? Yes, it's the second sign. Thanks for helping us. It worked! The hummingbirds helped to cheer June up. It looks like she is going to try a hummingbird flutter over the stone wall. Now it's your turn. Can you flap your arms really fast like a hummingbird? Oh dear, June fell down again. Luckily the team was there to catch her. Don't worry June, said Annie. Just take your time. It takes time to get used to new things, Quincy said. When the bow for my violin broke, I never thought I'd get used to playing with the new one. The more I played, the better I got. Leo agreed. I remember the first time I wore my glasses. I knew I needed them to help me see, but they felt really strange. Now I don't know what I'd do without them. Did you ever have a hard time getting used to something new? Everyone has. Look, Rocket is sending a signal to the team. Someone needs their help. It's the moon. Who is standing on the moon? It's the little Einstein's friend, Cal. Team, we have a mission, said Leo. Cal is stuck on the moon, and it's up to us to help get her down. But how did she get up there? asked Annie. Rocket is showing us Mount Everest, the tallest mountain in the world, replied Leo. Cal must have leaped from the very tip of the mountain, but instead of jumping over the moon, she landed right on it. Rocket raced the team to the moon. Once there, Leo realized that Cal was too big to fit inside Rocket. June, you can help Cal jump back down onto Mount Everest, said Leo. I'm just not feeling so sure of myself today, replied June. June wants to leap over the moon, but she needs our help. Let's sing to June and cheer her on. We know you can do it, June. We believe in you. You can do a ballerina leap to help get Cow off the moon. They made it! June and Cow landed safely on Mount Everest. Hooray! said June. We did it! I just needed time to get used to my new shoes and to get my confidence back. Thank you all for believing in me. Oh dear! Cow is still very far from home. She doesn't belong on Mount Everest. 
We need to get Cal back to her home. Do cows live in the desert, in the jungle, or on the farm? Yes, you're right. Cows live on farms. Cow is back home, cheered Leo. Mission completion. I think it's time for a hoedown partners, shouted Quincy. Let's celebrate with a song, said Annie. And a dance, added June. Hey diddle diddle, Quincy's on the fiddle. June jumped over the moon. We knew she'd know how to help our friend Cow. We believed in you, June. The end. Thank you for reading along. Be sure to rate and follow us for new episodes posted daily.